It's Kat here. How are you all? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Uh, so today I've got some goodies here that um, I've managed to thrift. I've uh, been op shopping. We call it um, Goodwill here or op shopping or thrift shopping. So I had to go out and run a few errands and I happened to pass by a couple of my favourite places where I have, you know, had a bit of luck in the past. So I thought I'll swing in and have a look and see how I go and uh, I did manage to get myself some really good little little bargains here so I thought I would share them and I've got a little bit of fabric on the side so first of all um, this is at the Salvos two dollars and it's just this little beaded necklace but there was just something about it that caught my um, eye it was very shiny um, I can easily take that apart and I've got myself some strands of white beads there and I've got various different um, you know white beads with blue polka dots so I thought that was really really cute I'm starting to kind of figure out my color tones as well and blue is one of them that I will be um, working with in the future so the other thing that caught my eye was this little bangle here I'm not really interested in the bangle but um, I did like these little dangly bits and then there's a what looks like a little bit of a bead cap um, but I liked it because I don't know if you can see but um, if I maybe hold it like that you can see that it's dangling some beads on it as well so I know I've got some bead caps in my supply so I thought I would have a look and see um, you know whether I can replicate that as well so I'm going to be pulling that one apart so um now I'm finishing off some teddy bear journals and I'm also about to start a series and uh, I was just rummaging through some craft supplies and picked up this little bag and then turned over and realised there was a little teddy bear on there and then um, I went through it and I noticed that there were more teddy bears and then I quite like this one as well, thinking of you, I thought, oh that's a handy handy one to have so I'm going to put that to the side because I have as you can see I haven't even opened up the um, bag yet and I've got some little mini tags here that I thought we could have a go and see if the stamps are any good so I've got this dress so I'm not sure about the actual lace because I think it's acrylic and it's um it might look all right on the camera, but up close, I don't think it is really that great. But I did like the trim, and there is the trim is all around the bottom of the dress. So, um, and then it's also on the sleeve. So I thought I would unpick that, and that dress cost me. Let's see if I can find the price tag on it. It was five dollars, but I just thought for for the amount of lace I got. I don't know if that was a good buy or not because I did manage to get some other lace today and it was like $4 a metre, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I overpaid on that one, I don't know. Um, but still at the Salvos, I got this um, little table runner, I guess you would say. So it's got this beautiful like floral embroidery on that side and then it's got a smaller one on this side so it is machine embroidered but it, you know for two dollars I thought it was you know worth worth it because I could cut you know cut that out and that would make a nice cover on a journal so and then you've got this piece as well and then you've got all this fabric as well that you can use so um, for two dollars I thought that was well worth it <clears throat> And then I got this little, um, again, it's like a little runner, but I liked it because it's, you know, one of those crochet doilies, um, but I liked it because it's got um, these circles, then it's got the trim, so I can cut the circles out, and then I, I, I'm left with the edging, which I can use, and then you've got like these little mini little bits um, in between, so I thought that was quite good value and for two dollars I thought well I can't go wrong so that was another one and again this was a dollar it's a cushion cover but um, 
put it up the right side. I thought, how cute are those little um little owls there? So, and and you've got the little flowers here. I can, um, for example, you know, I could kind of fussy cut out those flowers, and I could use those. Um, I've got a full owl here that I can use. Pretty much a full owl here I can use. Beautiful little blue um, little flower. I was just thinking something. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean about going going for colour schemes? Um, so this one here I could also use and I could probably just cover that up. Um, you know, I could just disguise that on the page with a with a bit of lace so yeah I thought that was for a dollar and I would get three and then I would get all the flowers and little love hearts etc out of that so I thought that was that was good and without taking up too much real estate in my craft room as well because that's what I'm looking at doing as well so just a um, little bit more fabric so this was another this was not the salvos this was um, it's like a quadriplegic um, thrift shop so I guess they support you know disabled people um, but I found this one wasn't sure at first I put it down but then I thought you know what I'll regret that <laughs> and I thought you know these color tones here went quite nicely with it as well and then I found this stripe so I thought well the stripe and the floral go nice together so and then I also got this um, it's just like a little bit of muslin or plain cotton so there's like a meter of that, a meter by a meter, and that's a dollar. And then I got this one, which is um, two meters by 1.16, so 2.1 meters. So there's a fair bit of that one. And then this floral one, a dollar, it's um, 0.6 long by 1.36 wide. So $2 and a dollar so to four dollars for all of that lace um sorry all of that fabric so i thought that was a good good buy so i got some books uh this one here treasury for two-year-olds and i'm still on the um the teddy bear um theme at the moment but it's a collection of stories and nursery rhymes i mean i loved the little cover for a start and um but I had been looking at poems and, I mean, you've got Naughty Bears. I mean, they're nice little images. The pages are a bit shiny, but that doesn't matter. And, um, but, like, see if I can flick to the pages. There was a crooked man and he w walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He brought a crooked cat. But there were all these lovely little, um, see there's some more teddy bear images there. But there were all these lovely little poems, which I, oh, here we go. You got the um, teddy bear picnic. But it's not, oh yeah, off to the wood, off they set into the woods. I don't think that's the actual teddy bear picnic song. But, um... I thought this was good. This was one of the pages I opened up. Um, some teddy bears are tiny, some teddy bears are tall, some teddy bears are big and round, and some teddy bears are small. So I could cut cut these out, and I could put them like on little journal cards and just scatter them throughout, and then my best friend. So, yeah, there, there are some lovely little um, poems and little images in here that when I was flicking through it, I was... Because um, when I buy a book, I always consider the size of the um, image illustrations will they fit into the size journals that I make and then um, you know how much can I harvest out of the book and then you know do I want to cut up the book um, so those are knick-knack paddywhack <laughs> this old man he played too he played knick-knack on my shoe <laughs> I remember we used to do sing that song a lot when we were kids um, yeah, so I got that one. So I thought that would, uh, I'll get a little bit out of that one. And then I found this cute little Australian poems to read to the very young. I mean, for a start, the, the cover just absolutely drew me in. And, but a shame I can't really do much with that. But, um, 
2002. It's got some nice blank pages, which something's been spilt on it, so it's already nicely aged, the starting process. I'll see if I can straighten up, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, look, this property belongs to, got some lovely images here, beautiful koala bears. Yeah, lots and lots of really lovely images that I can fussy cut around and use. I want to do some Australian journals, so I know this will really come in handy, a lot of these images, and very Australian oriented, so it will give their journal a lot of character. I love that one the uh, bush bush house farmhouse possums <laughs> bats owl little um marsupial of some sort i guess a, a little i don't know what that is a little kangaroo or something uh yeah so here we go circus there you go i didn't even notice that one cats so i could use that in various different journals waltzing matilda love that Jolly Swagman. Oh, Tea Talk. Yeah, so lots, lots of different themes and ideas I could use out of this, this one here. So just having a bit of a closer look. Yeah, so there was that one there. Now, <laughs> following on from the theme of um, the book from a previous video that is called um, Junk junk Genius, I think it was from memory. They were talking about um, jigsaw puzzle pieces. And whilst I didn't find any remotely like the ones that they suggested to use, I did find this ancient world map. Now there's 500 pieces, so it's gonna keep me busy for a while. But I was just curious to see, I mean, they're quite, they're quite thick and, um, mm, I don't know. I mean, the colour tones are okay, for sure. I was hoping I would, I would get a bit more, but I mean, I guess like North America, I guess I could play around with this. I don't even know if it's, it's actually been used, unless someone's done it and uh, like map of the world so I don't know I'll have a look at this um, my thoughts were could I pop it in as a bit of ephemera could I try and if it's easy enough but maybe it's a bit too much work I was thinking maybe I could like try and take some of that card off the back but one thing I could do I guess is um I could try and put a hole in it and maybe use it as a bit of a dangle in a in a tassel or something. So, or maybe actually what I could do is like, for example, this one that says North America, maybe I could string them together and have three of them dangling with beads in between. So yeah, I think I'm going to work on that one because there are some lovely patterns, but the colour tones are really nice and fit in with what we do and I thought I would just have a black uh, like a gray cardboard background but um they, they're a nice green so we shall see what we can do with that maybe, maybe it'll be going back to the op shop again I don't know <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it now I wanted to play it around with these stamps to see so let me get into this bag put that over there now I've got to pack this all away and find spots for it all don't I there we go so it's got my stamps and it's also got this multicolored um here we go let's stamp it on here let's see if the uh, stamp pad works Something is coming off, but and no, it's disintegrated as well. So no, I think we'll put that one in the bin. That's not a problem. Okay, so let's try this one. All right, let's try Teddy Bear.
Mm. No, it didn't really stamp very well. I don't know if that's my ink or whether that is <clears throat> the stamp. Let's try. Maybe, um, let's have a look. I think I've got some. Here we go. Yeah, let's stamp on that. okay so obviously you don't want a busy background with that and then oh yeah that's cute all right okay so i stopped the camera and i cleaned the stamps and i also just changed the position of my camera angle um just so you can see so this is what we stamped with but um they were just, as you can see, the edges were sort of um, stamped in. So what I did was, I, and that's not a problem. I, you know, I, I used to be really fussy about that, but I'm not so much anymore. But what I did do was I, I cleaned the stamps and I thought we would give it another go. So I've got Ranger Archival Ink. This one is the Plum. That sometimes uh, comes up nice. And I also noticed when I was cleaning them that I got this... Um, other stamp here this one's got five dollars fifty on it so i think that got thrown into the bag so that's obviously not part of the original set so um we'll try stamping this one thinking of you i was watching um gail's video earlier this morning and she was showing how she stamps at night when she's watching tv and that's something I definitely, definitely want to do. I think I need um, something underneath because that has stamped, but if I had a spongier, and I used to have one, I think I got rid of it. So I'm going to have to hunt around and see if I can find one of these stamping mats because I think that would um, stamp really nicely. So... That, that I'm happy with. I think I need to work on that a little bit more. So um, we'll try this little guy again. I mean, I do have a stamping platform. Let's ink him up. But I can see that the ridges, like... When you stamp, obviously these ridges are not high enough. So when you stamp, you catch the ink on the edge. So I just go around and I just clean that off before I stamp. But um, this is why I, I tend to go for, you know, the better quality stamps. I have quite a lot of Tim Holtz, but I've got other ones as well. And I really like it when they've got very high little pattern pieces because I know I'm not going to get that problem. Yeah. I mean, look, that's stamped. That's stamped well. I'm happy with that. So we've got that one. But I'll try this one because this is like a cute little corner one. This will go nicely on the corner, like for example this. Didn't need to get, um, put as much pressure on that one, so that one's a good one. So this one is like a little vase with a little butterfly. So maybe I just need to lightly tap just get a little piece of paper for this one yeah, that's really nicely actually that's like 
it's just um, got a little bit of ink up the top there but I mean you could tear that down or just yeah not worry about that um, this is like a little teddy bear like in a leotard or a bathing suit <laughs> a dancing teddy gonna stamp on the edges so I would say that that's why they've been put into the into the goodwill into the charity let's see if we can get that on there yeah. really nicely and then we got Teddy coming down a parachute in the in the sky in the clouds It came out beautifully. I'm so pleased I got these because I'm finishing off the um, teddy bear journals and I want to sprinkle these little little tags throughout. So, And I don't really have many of these little mini stamps, especially bear themed, but um, that was quite nice to, to get those. There's this little one here, just a little note, which I thought would be, um, you could have used that so many, so many journals. It doesn't just need to be teddy bear journal. Cute. just a little note <laughs> yeah so I'm pretty happy with those for t what two bucks or something I paid for the packet of them I'm not complaining at all so yeah I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my little haul and give you some inspiration on some things to look out for um, yeah I'd love to hear of your little buys um, you know maybe a little comment down in the um, description like in the comments area always love to hear from my my view, viewers and my subscribers so until next time take care and we'll see you soon bye